Good day everyone. Welcome to our first video in Statistics and Probability brought to you by VNHS Senior High School Mathematics Group. This is your Statistics and Probability teacher. You can call me Sir Neil. And on this video, I will be discussing about our first lesson which is the concept of random variables. Now, are you ready to learn? Yes, that's great. So, let us go straight to our biggest question and that is, what is a random variable? A random variable is typically denoted by a capital letter, usually X. And it is a way to assign a real number to each possible outcome in a random event or experiment. Now, to fully understand these statements, let us take an example. Suppose a random variable x is the number of heads in tossing a coin. Then, in tossing a coin, the possible outcomes could only be a head or a tail. And for a random variable x, or the number of heads, our possible outcome, which is said, can be assigned as 1. And for our possible outcome, which is the tail, it could be assigned as 0, since it's not a head. So we have 0 head. Please take note that the set or list of all possible outcomes is what we call as sample space. Moreover, a random variable has two types that is discrete and continuous. Now to know more about random variables. I have here some other examples of random variable. On the list, we have number of defective cell phones produced in a manufacturing factory daily. Next up, we have amount of paint needed to repaint a room. We also have amount of time needed to walk from home to school. And we also have gender of students taking up BS criminology or it could be the height of applicants for the Miss Universe pageant. Now, if you remember, a random variable can either be discrete or continuous. So the question is, how do discrete and continuous random variable different from each other? To answer that, let us investigate. First up, in discrete random variable, its values are obtained through counting. Examples could be Number of rotten bananas in a bunch of bananas. Number of honor students in a class. Number of tiles needed to cover a floor. And a few other examples I have listed there on our previous slides. On the other hand, in continuous random variable, its values are obtained through measurement. Examples could be growth of tomato seedlings per week, time needed to finish an exam, or the weight of pigs after three months. Now, to easily do this, all you need to remember is discrete is counted. And continuous is measured. So, are you ready to test your understanding about discrete and continuous random variable? Great.
Now, let us have discrete or continuous. On this part, you will identify whether the given is discrete or continuous random variable. As mentioned, try and classify the following random variables as discrete or continuous. Each random variable is assigned a letter. Once group, crack and form the hidden words from the letters of each group. So, let us start with letter T, number of deaths due to AIDS. What do you think? Is it discrete or continuous random variable? Very good. It is discrete because we have number of deaths. We can count it. Now, let us have the number of gadgets in a household. So that is discrete. And lastly, we have Y. Time needed to solve Rubik's Cube. Is it discrete or continuous? Yes, it is continuous. So, we already have classify the variables from discrete and continuous. Now, we need to crack and form the hidden words. Don't forget to rearrange the letters to form a phrase. Hidden words could be the discrete is a five-letter word and continuous is a three-letter word. What do you think, guys? Easy, right? Yes. That is, thank you. So I just want to say thank you actually for listening to this video. So, this ends our lesson. Thank you for listening and God bless us all.